Hello there, you're listening to the Sort Yourself Out podcast. This week, we're discussing how to get through midlife without the crisis. I'm your host, Janine Hunt, natural health therapist for over 30 years, hypnotherapist, lifelong student, and spiritual seeker. I like to seek out the most effective practices and techniques that provide the greatest bang for my buck and the fastest route to freedom from whatever is holding us back. I can't wait to share with you these powerful techniques so that you too can sort yourself out, know deeper meaning in your life, and best of all, a sense of inner peace. So let's get started. Well, hello there, and thank you so much for joining me today. It means so much to me that you've chosen to spend a bit of your day here with me. So thanks very much. This week, we're looking at how to approach midlife without going through the dreaded, cliched midlife crisis. Now, I am 56 this year, so I've been negotiating midlife stuff for quite a while now. And I actually appreciate this midlife phase. And while many people approach it with horror, (laughs) I want to help you reframe it so that you can appreciate this phase of life too. So midlife is only painful if you resist it and try to be what you are not, or especially what you are no longer. (laughs) Each phase of life has its focus. In our earlier decades, we're building our lives. We've got the misplaced confidence of youth, and we're busy creating the problems that we'll have to resolve in later life. For the most part. Well, lots of us are anyhow. Now, would you really want to go back to the mess you were in your 20s and 30s anyhow? (laughs) <laughs> I know I wouldn't. It took me years to sort myself out from all of the bad habits I indulged in then. I didn't even really start growing up till my late 30s. And guess what that is? Midlife. You don't think about it as being in the 30s, but really it is. So midlife is the time to liberate yourself. It's the time to free yourself and to sort yourself out and achieve a higher level of well-being than you've ever had in your life. This is the compensation for a few wrinkles and a bit of flab. (laughs) In midlife, you don't have to be obsessed about the externals as we so often are in youth. It's a time when we can shift the importance from the surface level of outer beauty and appreciate the deeper manifestations of inner beauty that surround us in people and circumstances and things. So in midlife, we can get down to the more meaningful business of life. We can cultivate a deeper understanding of what we are here on this planet to do. Because it's not always obvious to us what our higher purpose is in our 20s and 30s. We're still learning and finding our way. Now, hopefully we'll never stop learning, even in midlife. But in your 40s, 50s, and 60s, there's all that water under the bridge, and you can look at things with hindsight, and that can give you enormous clarity about where all the earlier endeavors have been leading. David Bowie said, Aging is an extraordinary process where you become the person you always should have been. Now, I prefer to say you become the person you were always meant to be because it takes us time to get there. But By the time we reach middle age, we can analyze all the pointers we've received across the years about our purpose in life and really allow those to unfold in the light of the wisdom of our more advanced years. This was definitely how things unfolded for me. 
I've been studying natural medicine all my adult life since I was about 22 years old. But it wasn't until my late 30s when I quit drinking that I was able to start adding other related and yet for me more profound disciplines into my life based more on psychology and spirituality. I just wasn't ready for them earlier. I mean, I was an atheist until I quit drinking, for one. (laughs) But it was dealing with the aftermath of quitting drinking. When I discovered that quitting drinking wasn't quite the cure-all I expected it to be, that led me to the other pieces of the puzzle. So yes, I was left happily sober, but inwardly I was floundering and I was full of self-hatred and shame and I was thinking there's got to be more to life than this. So I had to sort myself out and deal with all of the crap that caused me to numb out with alcohol in the first place. So quitting the booze was actually the starting point to a whole new opening to a much wider perspective of life and an adventure into other ways of healing that had less to do with natural medicine of a physical nature and more to do with mental health, spiritual unfoldment, and to learning universal principles. So embrace the work of midlife, which is to sort yourself out and to heal yourself of your hang-ups and blockages and addictions, basically all of the stuff you've been doing up until now, which isn't beneficial or helpful to you. So midlife is about growing up. It's about coming to a greater understanding of the path you've been on that got you to where you are now. And it's your opportunity to work out where it's all leading. So this can be a time to decide if that path is still valid for you. Maybe it's time to make a shift to something else entirely. Maybe it's time to reconsider if the career you've built is still satisfying for you. Maybe you never truly wanted that career, but it's what your parents wanted for you and you went along with it when you were younger. Well, the good news is that you're an adult now and you don't have to please your parents in that way anymore. (laughs) You never really did. But most of us don't understand that when we're young. It takes us another decade or so for most of us to recognize that we're here to do our own thing and not make mommy or daddy happy. Perhaps you've been busy for the last few decades, pouring all of your energy into raising your kids, and now they're grown up and you've got some time on your hands. Now, this doesn't have to be a distressing time. It's a big cycle of life shift for sure, but you wanted your kids to grow up and be independent, self-sufficient people, did you not? So if you embrace the second half of life as the time to sort yourself out, you can do a bit of work on yourself that helps you to move more gracefully through this phase. Say, do some EFT or begin meditation. Things that will bring you a general sense of inner peace into your life and congratulate yourself on a job well done raising your kids. Then you can accept this new phase with its shift in priorities and get down to enjoying a phase that is more about you and what you now want for yourself. Seriously, breathe a sigh of relief Your days of having to be superwoman or superman for everyone else are over. Yay! They're looking after themselves now and you are free. Or perhaps 
you're in the position where you're retired or facing imminent retirement. You could have a whole new career ahead of you if that's what you desire. Whatever has come before, midlife is a time when you can look at new ways that you can serve your family, your community, the world, the environment, whatever turns your crank. With your decades of hard-won wisdom, you've got a lot to give to the world. And the world, especially these days, needs all of us to express our wisdom and share it with others. This is what we are here on this planet to do. So celebrate the good things about this new cycle of life. It doesn't have to be painful. It's your own mindset and thoughts about it that make it so. Yes, it can be painful when a cycle comes to an end and a new one is being born. But that is just the nature of life. Things have to break down in order for the new to emerge. In the Ageless Wisdom, this is known as the energy of the destroyer. And it sounds quite ominous put like that. (laughs) But the destroyer energy is a necessary phase of the cycle of creativity. Destruction and creativity are two sides of the same coin. Old ways have to go for new ways to emerge. So my suggestion is that you do what you can to ease your way through the shift. It doesn't have to be a crisis. Use all of the techniques at your disposal. All of the techniques and practices I discuss here in the Sort Yourself Out podcast and that I will be teaching in my upcoming Better Than Happy membership. And you will find it much easier and more comfortable to enter this new phase without resorting to the full-blown crisis. So, avoid focusing on the wrinkles and the sagging. Focus instead on upgrading your mindset for this new cycle of life. Focus on the good things, the greater freedom, the wisdom, the new opportunities. Expect great things to come for you. Expect good health and work on really creating a mindset of positivity and positive expectation. This way, you will be less likely to fall prey to the thought forms about midlife in the collective consciousness, which, for the most part, you want to avoid like the plague. (laughs) I'm not going to go into them here, but you don't need me to. Remember that you create your own reality from the thoughts and emotions that you habitually nourish. So if you're one of those that buys into the mass thinking that the second half of life is all about decay and invalidation, stop it and upgrade your thinking. Be thankful for the past that has brought you to this point. Embrace this new phase, this phase of new beginnings. Seed your mind with thought forms of fresh starts, joy, well-being, and optimum health. We're living longer now, And midlife is the new 30. (laughs) So keep your options open and allow yourself to change. It's the nature of existence. So don't fight it. So there we go. A pep talk for all of us midlifers. Let's all aim to be feeling better in our own skins in midlife than we ever have before. Nice. So to help you move through this phase of midlife, I have a free guided meditation that you can download called the Quantum Liberation Spa, where we cleanse old stuck energies and outmoded beliefs 
from all levels of your being. And get this, we restore the divine blueprint of optimal function, balance, harmony, and wholeness. Lovely. And we even create a powerful anchor that you can use to access this heightened state of well-being you're experiencing in the Quantum Liberation Spa wherever and whenever you want. So that is really helpful for you to use. So you can get this at the inspirationcloud.com slash SYO53. Those are the numbers, five, three, and I will put a link in the show notes. That's the inspirationcloud.com slash SYO53. Now, if you really want to take your well-being to the next level and be better than happy, why don't you sign up to the waitlist for my upcoming Better Than Happy membership? Now, you've heard me talking about this for ages, but, you know, things take longer than you think. <laughs> but I'm gradually getting there. I'm beavering away. And soon I will be unveiling my new membership. So the Better Than Happy Zone is a monthly membership where I'll be teaching my most powerful top-down techniques to sort yourself out, to free yourself of your hang-ups and blockages, to take charge of your mind, and to nourish your soul. And if you've been listening to this podcast, you'll know that I'm all about giving you the tools you need to transform your life. And in the better than happy zone, there will be mini courses, hypnosis session, guided meditations, EFT tapping videos, neurolinguistic programming techniques, mindfulness training, the ageless wisdom teachings, and a lot more so that wherever you are on your path to greater well-being, you can start right there and then take the next step when you're ready. You'll have the tools and practices and techniques you need to not just heal your life, but to make it more meaningful, fulfilling, peaceful, and beautiful. And I'm making this transformation process enjoyable for you too, using these really fun and engaging animated videos that you're going to love. So it's not all going to be boring slideshows and talking head videos with my head there going blah, blah, blah. Seriously, you are going to love learning in this new fun way. So if you're ready to transform your well-being and be better than happy and would like to to be kept informed, go on over to the inspirationcloud.com slash membership to get on the wait list and I will keep you in the loop. Now, I really recommend you do this because people who are on the wait list are going to receive a special early bird offer that no one else is going to get. So go on over to the Inspiration Cloud dot com slash membership to get on the wait list. Okay, my friend, thank you for listening. That's all for today. Thanks for spending your time with me. I really do appreciate it. So take care and I will see you next week. Bye bye. Thanks so much for listening to the podcast. I really hope you found it helpful and full of uplifting ideas that you can put into practice in your life. And if you have, chances are your friends and family will too. So please share it with them on social media. You'll be helping them to sort themselves out because I bet you think they need it, right? But seriously, you'll also be doing me a huge favor and I will be eternally grateful for your generosity. It would also be lovely if you would leave me a review on iTunes. Preferably a nice one, please. And don't forget to subscribe to the podcast while you're there. If you have any questions or would like me to address a certain topic, I'd love to hear from you. You can email me at info at the Have a good one, folks. Thanks again, and I'll see you next week.